Hello, hello everyone. I hope that you're all having a great day. I think I am ready to do a mid-year declutter. It is time. I was really thinking I was going to hold off to do a big one until the end of the year, but I am ready <laughs> to get rid of some stuff. Now, I, this is not going to be like one of those huge declutters where I'm getting rid of all my things. This is just me being honest about things that I'm not going to be wearing. Most of that stuff I'll be passing on to friends and family. There's just a few things in here that might be too old, especially some of the lip glosses and stuff that I, you know, would feel uncomfortable giving to anybody else. But most of the stuff that I decide to pass on, I will be giving to others. So we'll be starting in this drawer where I have face palettes and lip glosses and stuff. I do want to show you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking from Stash, my double bergamot Earl Grey. I like it because it has, you know, intense bergamot flavor, which is how I like my Earl Grey. And let us begin actually with this face with these face palettes. Okay, so this is actually one of the things I go back and forth on. I am not super impressed with this because it's so incredibly scented. Like this is a completely discontinued product at this point. I got mine um, at TJ Maxx. However, I do like this highlighter over here, the cookie highlighter. I think it's very pretty, and I do like this sugar bomb blush very light, nice and I actually really like Dallas I think it's a very very nice tone kind of like a bronzy blush I really like that Hula itself eh, I'm just kind of about I could take it or leave it and this shade Georgia you can probably see the hard pan on that that in happened instantly the very first time I tried to use it and I do clean my blush brushes regularly so that was annoying to see um Hmm. I think just because I enjoy Cookie and I do enjoy having Hula and Dallas around to compare other things to, I think I will be keeping this, even though, you know, it's not my very favorite thing. So keeping in here, I have some limited edition shades from Sydney Grace. I will be keeping these. They are awesome. Let me see here. Okay, so this is another discontinued product from e.l.f. This is the Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. It has a highlighter and three very intensely pigmented cream blushes. Um, this is very pretty. I will be keeping this. And, okay, this is the Rising Star Cheek Palette from NARS. Um, oh, if I could get this open. Ah, there we go. Very pretty. Honestly, these two shades over here are the whole reason I'm keeping this palette. I could do without these. You know, they're just not quite right for me. <laughs> but these four I can wear. But these two especially are really unique shades, um, especially this one. Really, I really like that shade. So I will be keeping that. This is the Full Access Cheek Palette, and it has a bunch of like the classic shades from NARS in it. And I specifically bought this, again, at TJ Maxx, <laughs> just that I could finally understand what these shades were. Because, you know, I always hear them referenced, especially this shade, that classic shade from NARS. I've decided I don't like it. I don't like how big the chunks of gold are in this palette. But I do like the bronzer a lot. The bronzer, um, this is L Laguna. And the other two shades in here are... Tempted and Behave. I really like both of them. So yeah, I'll be keeping this for those three shades. I really don't like this particular shade. I have another face palette from Pacifica here. I actually really like this. So I'm going to keep this. This is the Alighten Radiance Face Powders. Um, and I'm going to keep this cream blush palette from Milani as well. Like, I know I'm not really getting rid of anything, but I'm just kind of going through things with you guys <laughs> to talk things through. And uh, sometimes when I do this, I can surprise myself at what I'm going to get rid of. But I like this cream blush palette from Milani, so I'm going to keep that as well. Let's tackle some of these glosses and lip oils over here and see if I can actually do any damage. So I have this Beauty Pie lip oil. I don't like how this one tends to separate pretty quickly, but I do really enjoy the scent and the formula. I'm going to quick smell it. Yeah, it still smells like vanilla pudding. It's <laughs> wonderful. The Wonder Gloss Lip Oil. This is a super cushiony product. I really wish all like lip, liquid lip balms would be like this. It's delightful. Another product I really like are these ones from Kaja. These are new to my collection, so I'll be keeping those. This product from M Cosmetics is a really pretty color. I have the shade Dream, but it really, it's not the ultimate best formula, I don't think, because it leaves my lips so so quickly. I mean, I'm used to 
glossy products wearing off quickly, but this like takes it to another level. I'm still gonna, you know, I'll use it up at some point, but you know, just wanted to let you know that that is kind of disappointing about that product. Um, this is a really pretty product from Chapstick. Love this one from Rare Beauty. I'm gonna go quickly through these because I know a lot of these I'm gonna be keeping. I really like this from L'Oreal. This is the shade Rose Harmony in the Liquid Lip Balm. Love that. I have one Merit lip oil. This is the shade Au Naturel. I will be keeping. I just bought this from NYX. Will be keeping. I know. I know so far I haven't gotten rid of anything, but I promise I will. I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, I really like this. This is a random product I got from an Ipsy bag, and I don't even know if the brand is Ola Neon, maybe. But this is the shade Kahlo, and this is like a lip cream. And I love that shade, and it's a very, very comfortable product. I think this is really nice, so I'm definitely keeping this. I'm going to keep my one shade of my little Kaleidos lip clay. Really nice. Ah, here's something I can get rid of. <laughs> so this is the Wet n Wild Cloud Pouch. I just purchased the wrong shade. I've had this for a long time. I keep trying to use it and failing. It's just this color of pink that when I swatch it, I'm like, oh yeah, I can wear that. But when I try to wear it, it's just never right. I don't know. There's something about the tone of it I don't like. I like the formula. It's very moussey and whipped. It's pretty and it smells like marshmallows. Oh yeah, it super, super smells amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to set this aside. Maybe one of my nieces would like that because it smells like marshmallows so much. Let's see. What else do I have in here? Uh, I love this Maybelline lip vinyl. I have the shade Peachy. We'll be keeping... Oh, I also have a Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline. This is the shade Seductress. I will be keeping that as well. Okay, this I can get rid of from ColourPop. The Ultra Blotted Lip. I actually like this color, but almost instantly I have to put a gloss over it because it's just so drying, drying, and then it pretty much just melts away. The gloss melts the formula and I end up with kind of a weird blotchy lip situation, which is, you know, not good. So yeah, I'm ready to get rid of this. This was the shade Doozy. They've updated this formula a couple of times, I think, since I got this. Um, so this was, you know, long, long time ago, ColourPop released this. So I'm sad to let that color go. I like the color, but I, I don't like the formula. So this is going to go. And then I do have another... Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. This is in the shade Enjoy the View. This particular shade is not perfect for me. I was looking for something not quite like that, but that's okay. I do like that color, so I'll be keeping it. Okay, let's tackle some of these glosses. So I do have two glosses from Fenty. One in the cream formula, one in like the regular gloss formula. I really don't like the scent of the regular gloss formula. I know it's like one of the things people just rave about it. I really don't think it's good. Every time I smell it, I'm kind of like, ooh, I don't like that smell. <laughs> but the actual gloss is very pretty. And I don't have another color like this, so I'm keeping it. And the cream one, I like the smell better, but the formula less. <laughs> I feel like sometimes it can sit into lines in my lips. Um, but again, this is very much something I don't have in the rest of my collection. It's very, very peachy, so I'll be keeping it. Love this clear Copari lip glossy. Let's see, ColourPop so glassy. I'm kind of round to this. It's kind of sticky, but it is very pretty on the lips, so I'll keep that. Oh, here's one that can go. This is from ColourPop. This is one of their Lux glosses. I bought this when they first released the Lux glosses. This is the shade Slow Motion, and I, this is one of those I keep trying to pan, and then just not wanting to. <laughs> I think it's just because the formula is just a bit gloopy, you know? And I don't always hold that against a uh, lip gloss formula, but there's something about this one where I just don't want it. And I don't know why, because that's the shade I constantly buy in gloss. Like, and there's, But I, I do think it's the formula. So I'm finally going to give up on this one. I've had it for a couple of years now. And yeah, it's time to just go. I have a couple of Euphoria glosses. Those will certainly be staying. Oh, I have a lip stain from e.l.f. This is the shade Basic Beige, and it's not beige at all. <laughs> to me, it's definitely got more like terracotta in it. But anyway, it's pretty. I'll be keeping it. Ooh, I actually really like this. I don't wear it nearly as often as I should because I'm, I'm trying to pan something that's pretty much the exact same color as this. But this is the Syrup Kiss Lip Stain from Hard Candy in the shade Makeout Mauve. I actually think this is really pretty. I should smell this to make sure it's okay. Yeah, I think it's all right. 
So that gets to stick around for a while longer. Let me see. Ooh, I do have a glossy lip stain from ColourPop. Yeah, I'll keep this. I really like this color. This is the shade um, Sugar Snap. Again, this, this color. I'm always buying this color. <laughs> and I really like that. Much better than that. So yeah, I'll be keeping this. Sorry if you can hear it giggling in the background. My daughter is playing online with her friends. <laughs> I do have one Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss in the shade New Romantic. I like this. So I'll be keeping this. Oh, I better sniff this. This is pretty old in my collection. From Dose of Colors, this is the shade Almond Butter. This smells pretty good. Again, this is the shade I'm always buying for myself. <laughs> Love it, though. It's very pretty. Um, when I bought it, I was really looking for more of a sheer formula, so this kind of sat unused in my collection for a really long time. Now I appreciate it more for what it is, more of an opaque gloss, but even though it's old, I'll, I'll keep it. This is a very summery shade in my collection from NYX. This is the Butter Gloss in the shade Sorbet. This is actually really pretty. I've worn this in some videos, and I really like how it looked with, you know, the right makeup. That's, not, that's definitely not an everyday shade for me, but I do like it. Let's see, another product from Hard Candy. Ooh, look. <laughs> it is separating, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gone bad. It just means it was sitting there and I haven't used it in a long time. This is the Glostopia Ultimate Lip Shine in the shade Prism Lit. It's mostly clear. But let me smell this real quick. Yeah, I think it's fine. Another one that's getting older in my collection, so I'm going to have to pan this uh, pretty quickly, I think. But for now, keeping it. What is back here? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, from Undone Beauty, this is the water, Watercolor Rose Gloss from them. I think they call, yeah, the Big Papa Gloss. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> this is pretty. I like this. It's mostly, again, sheer. Looks like nothing, almost. Still smells good. It's been in my collection for a while, but I will definitely keep that one. Let's see what else is back here. Ugh. Oh yes, from Neutrogena, the Hydra Boost, Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. This is the shade Berry Brown. I really do not reach for this one enough. This is definitely neglected in my stash. That's a pretty color though, isn't it? Still smells fine, so I'll keep it around. The Peachy Gloss from Believe Beauty. I'll give it a sniff. And this pretty much smells like nothing at this point. The Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss in the shade George Peach. So that's staying. <laughs> this is a fun gift from a friend. This is the Goddess Gloss from Almay. This is a very, very cool toned sparkly gloss. This is the shade Mystic. This is definitely something I can wear only when I'm going for a specific look, but it's honestly quite fun. <laughs> See how like super like metallic it is? Really fun, you know, for the right look. So, you know, not an enormous amount of success for this drawer, but you know, there's three lip products gone. So that is actually, that's good for me. Uh, it's interesting, usually when I decide something needs to go, I immediately get rid of it. So I'm not expecting to get rid of a lot of things in this particular declutter, but you know, a few things from each drawer like this. Okay, this drawer is my highlighters and then small palettes. So starting with highlighters, I really enjoy my Merit highlighter. That'll be sticking around. I love this one from ColourPop. Um, this one from Phytosurgeons, it's honestly not my favorite highlighter formula, but I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. <laughs> it's just super unique, so I'll keep that around. Um, this one from Flower Beauty, I love. And I love this one from Salt New York. Oh, however, <laughs> so this was actually just in my shop, my stash. I went and grabbed it. I have totally changed my mind on this, and I think maybe it's just suddenly gone off, like it suddenly got old. I haven't had it that long. Interestingly, it does say six months on the tag. You know, I, I, I like never go buy those, <laughs> but maybe in this instance, this is one of those products that does, because I feel like it's not performing like it used to. This is the shade Opal, and unfortunately, I had to take the sponge off of mine because my sponge got all clogged up and I couldn't get any product out, but the product, I tried it again today, but it seems to be like much thicker, and when I tried to apply it with fingers, a brush, a sponge, like literally any way, it looks really patchy. Like it instantly dries down on my cheeks and looks so patchy. 
Like, it's just not a good situation. So this is definitely going to go, and I'm sad about this because when I initially tried this, I really liked it. Love my Nobla highlighter. Love my MAC. This is um, Double Gleam. Love it. Love this one from Laura Geller. Love Natasha Denona. Love this one from Revlon. So yeah, I think we're good for highlighters. Let's talk about some of these little palettes. So I'm just gonna quick go through these quickly. <laughs> the Topes by Juvia's. Keeping. ColourPop, that's taupe. Keeping. Uh, this one from ColourPop, Making Moms. I think I'm going to depot the shades in here that I want to keep and put them into my single shadow collection and then the actual palette I think I will be decluttering. So I'm going to set this aside. We'll count this as a decluttered palette. Just know that a bunch of the shades in here, especially the mattes, I will be saving. I've never liked this shade on myself and this Super Shock has dried out. And this pink to me, you know, even though it's a nice pink, I don't think I really need to keep on, hold, like, hold on to it. I think what I want are the mattes from this palette. So yeah, I think that's my plan. I'm going to declutter this one, which I never ever thought would happen. <laughs> I'm always drawn to these color stories. For whatever reason, I have not wanted to use this like at all for uh, I, over a year at this point. So I think I'm ready to let this go. But I will be keeping my ColourPop Going Coconuts. I adore this one. This one from Urban Decay. Uh, I actually like this more when I use it. Just looking at it, I'm like, eh, boring. But when I use it, I actually really like it. So I'll keep that one. This is my only little palette from Viseart. It's really cute. I really don't reach for it that often, but it's my only palette from Viseart, and I really like it. And uh, it takes up hardly any room, so I'll keep it. Love the Kajo stacks. This is the Spiked Ginger stack. I'll be keeping this. Ooh, this is gorgeous. From Kaleidos. This is the Cold Brew Quad. We'll be keeping, like I said, not getting rid of much. <laughs> this is a quad from Revlon, the Slight Flex Quad. I think they've like redone these, so I don't even know if this one's still available. But this particular shade over here is a duochrome. It's beautiful. It's so pretty all over the lid. So I'll be keeping that. Really easy to travel with that too. I do have a couple Tom Ford quads. This is Body Heat. I will be keeping. And then this one is Disco Dust. Again, keeping. Every time I use this palette from ColourPop, I love it more. <laughs> the Wild Nothing palette. Love this one. And the Super Shocks in here have not dried out, so that makes me happy. There's two Super Shocks in here. This one from M Cosmetics is the Rodan palette. Oh, it's so beautiful. Honestly, this one from Give Beauty, I could um, declutter. <laughs> it's just that the formula is just so-so. And, you know, the shades are some things that I have already. But the name of this palette makes me so happy. This is the Just a Girl palette. And it just brings me back to, like, teenagerness and those feelings. And any anyway, I, I enjoy this palette, so I'll be keeping it. And also this one from Natasha Denona, the Ayana palette. Keeping. In the back here in the back, I do have some I Heart Revolution palettes. I Heart Revolution, you know, it doesn't have my favorite formula, but these palettes do have some different shades than I have in the rest of my collection. This is the Rocky Road palette. I'm going to hold on to this one. And this one is the Pistachio Cream. I'll keep that one. This one is the Marble Rose Gold. And a friend of mine gave me these I Heart Revolution palettes. She told me that this one like made me think of, or made her think of me just because I wear a lot of pink eyeshadow. <laughs> it's very true, I really do. And I have used every single shade in this. However, I think I'm gonna pass this one on to one of my nieces. And I know that my friend, you know, will not mind having some, you know, me giving some <laughs> fun pink shadows to my nieces. So I'm gonna pass that one to them. This one is the Honey Palette, which I actually think there's a fun color story in here as well. I think I'm quite ready to get rid of this one. This one also has some colors in it that I don't really have other places. So yeah, I'll hang on to this one. All right, we'll put those back. So only two palettes gone from this drawer, but these are palettes I've been thinking about passing along to others for a while, or in the case of this one, depotting for quite a while. So that makes me happy that I'm getting this done. Okay, so this is my majority of my larger palettes. Now I'm really, you guys, this is not a major declutter. I mean, you've seen that already, but I wanted to just want to say again that 
I'm basically be keeping almost all of these. There's only one, maybe two in here that we're passing on to others. But I will quick show them to you from Kaleidos. I have the Flower Punk palette, keeping the Sashimi City, keeping. <laughs> if you do want to see like the insides of all these palettes, I did recently update my um, palette collection. I, I can link that down below if you want to see. <laughs> this is the Electro Turquoise, keeping and the Astro Pink Keeping. And I do have the Lunar Lavender that's up on my vanity right now. I'll be keeping that one as well. From, I have the Chocolate Martini palette from Glam Light. And here we come to a palette. You guys will not believe that I'm about to do this. <laughs> but this is my Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I wanted this palette for so long. And I finally purchased it, was it last year or the year before? And I cannot get into this palette. <laughs> I don't know why, because there's shades in here that I really, really enjoy. But for some reason, when I want those shades, I go to other palettes. So that tells me I can just give this to someone. I've barely used it. I mean, there's like very slight dips in some of these, but yeah, I've barely touched this. And it's still in great condition. So I'm really looking forward to giving this to a friend of mine who really likes like pink and purple eyeshadow. I think that she will love this. So. I will be passing that along. I can't believe it, but here I am. Well, let's continue. I have my Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced, which is staying. My Noir palette from Lorac. Fairy Tale Forest from Lorac. Sydney Grace, Tiny Marvels. Beauty Bay Neutral, oh, it's such a good palette. The original Tartlet Juicy. Sultry from Anastasia. Makeup Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia, Roaring Hearts from ColourPop, my Lorac Unzipped, <laughs> like, yeah, keeping these, uh, Profusion, Bear, ooh, okay, now I gotta think about this one. Um, I might surprise you guys again and decide to give this to someone. So I actually have singles from Nabla that I really, really enjoy, and I tried out this palette, trying to think of when I got this. Was it earlier this year? I think that, I think I did buy this this year. This is new to my collection. And so I spent a lot of time testing it. I liked the looks that I created, but I just could not like develop feelings for it, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say it might sound funny, but I feel like I have all these shades other places. And I actually like my singles from Nabla better. My favorite formula from Nabla is what they call their bright formula. It's like their really beautiful satin. It's really kind of hard to describe and I don't think it's in this palette, which I think that's part of why I was kind of disappointed. But this is such a great neutral palette. I'm kind of hesitating if I want to pass this along to anybody because it is really pretty. It's literally right up my alley. Um, you think about this for just a second because this is like one of those super easy palettes to throw together a look. I think I will, I think I will give this to someone. I'm gonna make someone's day. Um, I have other neutral palettes I always think of to reach before this one. Am I gonna kick myself for giving this away? No, I think I can, I can give this one away. That is a surprise <laughs> because I've always thought I just wanted to have the best neutral palette collection ever and this definitely belongs in that sort of collection. But uh, I gotta be honest, I rarely, I don't think about reaching for this. So. While it's new, I'm going to give it to someone. Whew, that was wild. Okay, um, I have Too Faced, Natural Nudes, City Grace, Enduring Love. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep my Cocoa Pebbles palette, palette from My Hair Evolution. It, it makes me smile. <laughs> and then I have my Pat McGrath, Divine Rose palette. That will be staying. I have my Persona Identity palette. That will be staying. Sydney Grace Coffee Talk, staying. Tartlet in Bloom, staying. I was about to show it to you. You guys know what this looks like. I'll show you anyway. <laughs> That's staying. Oh, here's one that I maybe could give to someone. This is the Lorac Marikai, which I really, really enjoy the Lorac um, formula. And actually, I've created, again, amazing, like really, really pretty looks with this palette. I really like this. I also really like how small the shadows are in the Lorac palettes. <laughs> it makes me feel like I could actually use it up one day. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So the whole reason I'm contemplating giving this one away is because whenever I do reach for my Lorac palettes, I reach for my other palettes. The Noir, 
the Fairy Tale Forest and my Unzipped palette. Um, I believe this palette, the Marikai, is like a conglomeration of all of their, mo their most popular shades. So, and I do think that whenever I use this palette, I like my eye looks. But I'm trying to be honest about what I am thinking to reach for. And this is not one of them, but look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh, so pretty. Um, again, and this is another newer one to my collection. I think I got this at the end of last year. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I'm not going to talk myself into keeping it though. I have lots of beautiful eyeshadow and I think I'd like to make, again, someone's day with this really beautiful eyeshadow. So I'm going to give this one to someone as well. Surprise myself there. But that's all I have here. I do have more over on my vanity. Um, but I'll stop here for now with palettes and move to a different drawer. Okay, here we are in my blush drawer. I was going to take you over to my foundation drawer, but I only, you know, I don't have that many. And um, I know we'll be getting rid of any, so I did figure we wouldn't waste anyone's time. <laughs> we won't go through that drawer. But I definitely do think I could make some progress in this drawer. I mean, I love blush. I love testing blush. I love making blush videos. So I'm definitely not going to be getting rid of too much. But I do think it would be good to go through some of these and make some choices. Um, I do have some bronzers over here as well. Um, I don't have very many, so I, I think I'll be keeping all of those as well. I have this one from e.l.f. I was thinking that maybe I could declutter just because it's such a cool tone shade, but it's literally like the only contour in my collection. This is the shade um, feeling shady. So in case I ever feel like contouring, which I never do, but in case I ever do, <laughs> I have, you know, something to scratch that itch. So I'll, I'll keep that. Otherwise, I have the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. The Makeup by Mario, which you can tell from the pan, I adore. I have the shade Light. And the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. I love this. Keeping. And again, I do have stuff like in my Shop My Stash. I'll, I'll bring you guys up there in just a minute after we go through all this stuff. So, um, I'm going to keep my ColourPop Heart Blushes. They're like a beautiful aesthetic and I just love having them over here on the side. I think they're so pretty. The soft matte packaging. <laughs> but let's start up here. I'm gonna change the camera a little bit. Let's start back here. So I actually just worked on this Neutrogena blush for a while in my project pan and I grew to love this so much. This is the shade Rosy. I'm gonna keep that. Um, this one from CoverGirl I tried this year. This is the shade Soft Mink I think. And despite how scented it is, it's really beautiful. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna keep that around. Okay, here's one I never ever thought I would get rid of from Patrick Ta. Let me quick wipe off the fingerprints. <laughs> this is the Monochrome Moment Blush in the shade She's Passionate. And it's interesting, I just have never really, uh, I don't know, developed feelings. <laughs> like, can I say that? But for this blush, like I know I've talked about it in videos as being a really pretty sheer formula, and it is <laughs> very pretty. Let me give you a little swatch of it, uh, like a peachy pink like right up my alley, right? But I just can't get into it. I don't know. I think it's because I didn't pick this out myself. This was sent to me in an Ipsy box a long time ago. And look, I barely touched it. I'm gonna give this to someone who would appreciate a sheer peachy pink blush. And then I won't have to feel bad about not using this beautiful blush. <laughs> this one from Moira, I can, I like pretty much can't wear. It's so intensely pigmented. This is the shade Morning Sh Sunshine. Uh, but I keep it around in case I do any 80s blush videos because that's literally it's like literally this color So incredibly pigmented plus the look how beautiful it is. It's so pretty. I Do have a couple of the little mini benefit blushes. This is Shelly and Dandelion. I like both of them. So I'm gonna keep them. I Really really like this blush from elf. This is the luminous putty blush. I like the luminous formula more than their original putty formula so pretty it's so the shade Maui. I will definitely be keeping it. Okay, one that I'm definitely going to take out of my blush collection, even though I'm going to save the packaging, is this one from Lila B. So, I am just not impressed with the blush formula, but the whole reason I bought it was because I absolutely adore this heavy metal packaging. Like, it's just... Ooh, so satisfying. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'll put in there. A lip balm or something so that I can put it in my purse and have the delight of using it. <laughs> but I really just really never ever reach for this blush. So I'm probably gonna dig out the cream blush, clean it out really good and use it for something else. But I'm gonna count this actual blush as being decluttered from my collection. This particular shade was the shade Be Real. 
I love Milani Luminoso. That is staying. I have a little mini from Rare Beauty, the shade Bliss. Very easy to wear. I love it, and I absolutely adore this one from Profusion. It's starting to separate a little bit, but I don't care. It's fine. A little bit, but this is the Blush Hour in the shade Rosé. This is beautiful. I'll be keeping this. I also really like my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Bean. We'll be keeping... Ooh, okay, I need to make a decision here. So this one from Believe Beauty and this one from Stila are practically the same color. <laughs> and the same formula as well. And every single time I use one of them, I think, man, I really should just pass one along to a friend. So, ooh, really difficult here. Which one should I keep? So from, from Believe Beauty, this is the shade Doll Face, and from Stila, this is the shade Lilium. It looks slightly different in the pan, but on my cheeks, you cannot tell a difference. Doll Face and Lilium. So again, not exactly the same, but I'm telling you, I cannot tell a difference on my cheeks. So just based on looking at those swatches, I think I'm going to keep the Stila one. But this one from Believe Beauty is really pretty. And even though I've had it for a while, it's still beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be giving this one to a friend. If you're looking for a really nice, affordable cream blush, Dollar General has Believe Beauty. And these are lovely. I think there's only a few colors, but if, if, and this one is like the more cool toned pink. Very pretty. But that means I'll be keeping this one from Stila. The Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush in the shade Cool Coral will be keeping. This is a limited edition blush from Sydney Grace. I love it. I'll be keeping that. I'm not super impressed with this one from MAC. This is one of their classic blushes in the shade Mocha. Uh, but I'll keep it for now. Another one of the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes in the shade Goldie Cassis. Super pretty, we'll be keeping. This one from Ilia. This is the shade At Last. I'm gonna quick give it a sniff. Oh no, it is starting to smell like Play-Doh. So I actually do have a little mini of this as like a little backup, and I haven't even opened it yet. Um, considering that this one does smell like Play-Doh, um, I think I'm gonna let this go. I do have acne prone skin, so I do try to be careful with things that have gone bad. <laughs> so this, sadly, I won't be put passing on to anybody because it's likely gone off. Okay, here's one I can get rid of too, even though I really enjoy the shade. So this is Essence The Blush in the shade Befitting, which I love. This is a like perfect for me shade. It is gorgeous. But, and I know this might be a stupid reason for getting rid of it, but I have to tape the lid on. It completely broke and it keeps me from reaching for it. I don't want to use it and it bothers me. <laughs> it drives me nuts. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be done with this one. It's gone from my collection. And then there's the Stila Lilium. So I'm actually doing better than I imagined <laughs> I'm passing along some blushes. Let's move on to this row. So I'm going to keep my Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Pinched my ColourPop blush sticks in the shade Roosevelt. It's a very unique shade for my collection. I'll keep that. Um, hmm, this is hard for me. I didn't think I was going to get rid of both my Essence blushes, but this one I think I can also pass along. This one I will pass along because you know, there's nothing wrong with this one. This is the shade Bespoke, and it's actually a really pretty neutral blush, but I find that whenever um, I reach for a neutral blush, I never ever want to use this one. Look at it, it's really pretty, isn't it? It's got a really pretty luminous fillet finish. So like in theory, I like it. I put it in my face, I like it. But in my collection, um, I, I just must like other neutral blushes more. So I'm gonna pass this one along. From Bare Minerals, this is one of the ones that I will reach for over that one from Essence. This is the shade Blurred Buff. I'm just gonna show you, like compare you the shade, or I'm just gonna compare the shades. So not quite the same. You know, same family, they're both luminous, but I'll be keeping that one. I really like this one from M Cosmetics. This is the So Soft blush in the shade Pearl Tea. Here I have another Bare Minerals blush. This is a pretty unique shade in my collection. This is the shade Mauve Sunrise. I've contemplated getting rid of this one before because I don't reach for it very often. Um, but it's very unique in my collection, this particular shade. I just don't often buy this shade, so I'm going to be keeping this, and I really like the formula. Here I have the shade Cheeky from Merit. Now this one, again, 
Not really a shade I reach for super often, but I really like the formula of this. But I think I am gonna give this to someone just because like I say, I don't reach for the shade too often and I really like this and I would love for someone to be able to enjoy it. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe how many blushes I'm passing along, but <laughs> this will be given to a friend. Okay, here's another one I'm going to pass along from Beauty Pie. And it's just because I never, ever, ever even wanna reach for this in my shop, my stash. And there's literally nothing wrong with it. I think it's just, again, I don't usually reach for this shade. This is a really pretty pigmented formula, by the way. And it's still perfectly good. You can tell I barely touched it. So, ooh, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Quite delightful. So yeah, this one will be going to someone, again, it's the shade Bare Blush. Absolutely beautiful, and it's just wasting away in my collection. So I'm gonna give it to someone. That makes me wonder though if I should keep this one, if I'm getting rid of this one from Beauty Pie. I'm trying hard to be realistic. I really don't want to give something away and then want to like rebuy it again later, right? So, hmm, will I actually use it? No, I think I can safely pass that along, okay. This is from Salt New York. This I enjoy very much. This is the shade Rose, or is it Rosé? Rose. Oh, that's gorgeous. Keeping from M Cosmetics. This was a very expensive blush, <laughs> and I love this. This is the shade um, Venetian Rose in the Heaven's Glow formula. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, we'll be keeping. I have a blush from Danessa Myricks. This is a vision flush. I gotta stop watching everything. This video is gonna be like 14 hours long. <laughs> this is the shade Bread and Butter. We'll be keeping. Another one from M Cosmetics. This is the original shade in the original packaging, which I'm curious about the new one, but I still have, you know, a lot of this left. So I'll just keep the old one for now. The shade Venetian Rose again, if I can't remember if I said that. <laughs> it's very pretty. From Revlon, this is the shade Apricot. We'll be keeping. Love this one from Undone Beauty. This is the shade Rosewood. It's a beautiful, roasty, toasty blush. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like it's looking more orangey here on the camera than it is in real life. So beautiful. And another roasty, toasty blush, but this one's from Fido Surgeons. This is the shade Inferno. It's like a bricky red, and it is glorious. So I'll be keeping that as well. Oh my goodness, I keep doing some damage here. <laughs> now, this next little section, let me adjust the camera. I really don't think I'll be getting anything from these, like, my favorite blushes down here. Or, for the most part, my favorite anyway. I have a <laughs> sample card I keep reminding myself to use. The dangerous thing when trying these is that it makes me want to buy them. <laughs> but I do have these samples from Glossier to try. Um, from Nude Sticks, this is the Matte Luxe Blush in the shade Nude Buff. I knew, tried this this year and absolutely fell in love with it. We'll certainly be keeping that. I have, oh, one of my favorite blushes of all time. You guys, this is so good. From NYX, this is the Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. And specifically this shade in the shade Nude Tude. It is essentially kind of taupey. And it, the way it blends... The way it sits down so it was a soft matte it is absolutely glorious Whew, love it oh i should actually sniff it i've had it for a long time i think it smells okay i'll be keeping it another one from nude sticks this is the intense matte lip and cheek pencil in the shade bell we'll be keeping here's another one from salt new york this is the shade maple and i know it looks kind of deep in the pan but it's very sheer and absolutely stunning. Oh, wow, keeping. Love my Tower 28 Magic Hour. I really enjoy this blush from Merit. This is the shade Beverly Hills. I'll show you that one in comparison to Cheeky. So that was Cheeky here. This is Beverly Hills. And I will almost always reach for that one over that one. Hence why I'm passing Cheeky along. This blush from Rose Ink is newer to my collection this year. This is the shade Daylily, and it is very, very close to Tower 28 Magic Hour, so <laughs> I enjoy it. I'll be keeping it. This is from Cure Weiss, one of the most unique formulas and colors in my entire collection. This is the shade Inner Glow. I've swatched it for you so many times, but I can't help it. I'm going to do it again. 
it's like a taupe with a glow and it's amazing it's so good and I have this classic cream blush from Milk. This is the shade Work. Let me quick smell it. Yep, it smells like it always has. <laughs> this is like the original packaging when they had everything on these giant, giant sticks versus the little minis they have now. But I will be keeping that. Oh my goodness, I did some damage. I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight blushes okay if you guys know me you know what that is very very good for me because i love blush so holy smokes i'm feeling very accomplished right now let's move on to lipsticks perhaps okay here we are at my lipsticks i'm going to quickly go through these i'm not expecting to do a whole lot of damage here and getting rid of things but it helps me to just quick look at each item to see if i want to keep it or not this one from alme keeping Revlon keeping, Revlon keeping, e.l.f. keeping. This one I can get rid of. <laughs> so this is from Undone Beauty. This is the shade Velveteen, and I have kept this around because I know that just with the right, oops, sorry, not in frame. I know that just with the right makeup look, I can pull off this color, but there is something about, oh, let me frame again, sorry, but there is something about this where I never ever reach for it. And it's so pretty, isn't it? It's literally like a sheer matte, which oh, I just love that idea, but I never ever use it. And I think I better just give that to someone. I know that my packaging is broke. That's just because I closed it aggressively once and I broke the lid, <laughs> but I, it's pretty much unused. So I'm gonna give that to someone. Then I have a couple things from L'Oreal, keeping, can keep my MAC lipsticks, keeping my Pat McGrath, my Bobbi Brown, my Wayne Goss my NARS, my Charlotte Tilbury, and my Lisa Eldridge. So I'll be keeping those. Oh, I just showed you some of the palettes that are over here on my vanity so you can get. <laughs> I will be keeping my Kaleidos Lunar Lavender palette. This is brand new to my collection. I haven't even talked about it on my channel yet. I had saved up my YouTube money. Yep, and I got myself another one. Can you guys guess which one I got? <laughs> I'll give you a moment before I show you. And here comes the big reveal. <laughs> Yep, this is the original. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it's been uh, quite delightful to play with. So, you know, keeping it. A friend just gave this to me. Isn't this awesome? Because this is a discontinued palette from Fenty. This is the Moroccan Spice palette. I'm definitely holding on to this. I just started playing with it and enjoying it very much. I think, you know, it, it came and went so quickly. I feel like this might have been ahead of its time a little bit because it's got some of those like kind of like sparkly shades in it. I feel like not, you know, people weren't always into this sort of sheer topper shade. I mean, I love them, but I feel like they're really in right now. I feel like if Rihanna came out with this again, it would probably be more successful. But anyway, I'm enjoying this. It's very pretty. And I also have the Natasha Denona face palette here. This is the light one. I will be keeping it. I'm not going to go through all my single shadows. That is something for another day. So I'm going to move the camera over to my shop my stash. Shop my stash. I don't see if there's anything in there I can get rid of. Mm, so looking around, there actually are a few things in here that I will be decluttering, but I'm not going to do that today because I have not yet reviewed like this, for instance, this Essence Extreme Care Hydration Glossy Lip Balm. <laughs> Once I review it, I will let you know why this is going. But for now, this is going to stay um, here on my vanity. But as soon as I review it, I'm going to give it to someone. So here is my concealer collection. I don't need to get rid of anything here. I recently just purchased a new NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I had purchased the wrong shade before, so I gave it to a friend. Now I have the correct shade. And this is actually the same shade. It's a sample. That's how I knew it was the right shade, because I got a sample first this time. <laughs> Otherwise, I have the Becca... Elf and my Glossier one. I don't need to get rid of any of those. These are my Shop My Stash bronzers. I have Salt New York and Elf and a sample here from Westman Atelier. <laughs> so I don't need to get rid of any of that. This is eyebrow stuff. I don't need to get rid of anything in there. Here's some highlighters. I already got rid of that Flower Beauty one. So I'll be keeping the rest of these. Okay, here's some blushes in my Shop My Stash. Um, I think that if like I really needed to make room, I could pass along this one from Rare Beauty. I have the uh, nearly neutral one. Sorry if my camera is shaking, I'm just holding it here. I like it just fine, but I tend to reach for other things over it, but I, I think I'm going to keep it for now. Um, the rest of the things in here 
our definite keeps. So moving on from blush, let's see. Mascaras, I actually just cleaned out old ones in here, so that's fine the way it is. Ooh, okay, primer. <laughs> um, I keep going back and forth on this one from Euphoria. It's actually really nice. It's got a ton of really cool skincare in it. Um, but my skin is super sensitive, and every time I use it, I like get scared it's gonna bother me. So I tend to not use it. Um, I'd rather give this to someone, I think, because I keep hesitating to you know not use it. This is the pre-game protective, protective primer. It's super hydrating. And honestly, this is like an expensive brand. This is a really nice primer. primer. So yeah, I'm gonna give this to someone and I hope that they will enjoy it. Oh, here's another primer. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I'm gonna declutter this one as well. It's actually kind of a cool, um, formula. It like feels silicone-y, but there's no silicone in it. It's just that if I wear this every day, I notice it breaks me out. So I'm going to pass this along to someone. Um, these are my eyeliners and lip liners. I don't think there's anything in here I need to get rid of. Uh, oh boy. Hmm. Let me set the camera differently and we'll talk about these. All right. I need to hurry. I'm starting to get hungry. I need to go make dinner. <laughs> but wait, I really want to finish this. So going through, this is like my um, affordable cream eyeshadows. So, um, even though I really like these, I think I can give some of these to someone. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get these out. Uh, as I was saying, whenever I reach for one of these, I always reach for the same shade. So I think I can give two shades away. I always reach for the shade Italian Ice. I love these. These are like, kind of like ColourPop, um, cream shadows. So I'm going to keep Italian Ice. But these two are absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to give them to someone. So this is the shade Champagne Sorbet. Oh my gosh, I know several ladies who will wear that sort of thing on their lid. And same with this shade. This is Maple Pecan. So pretty. Yeah, definitely going to give those to friends, and I can't wait. I, I know they will love them. Put this back. Hopefully it won't fall out this time. <laughs> okay, let me quick look through this. Okay, okay, okay. So... I had a video last year where I tried this and I absolutely hated it, but I saved it because when I finally figured out how to wear it, I really liked how it looked on my lids. So this is the No Budge Cream Shadow in the shade Canyon. So even though I figured out how to wear it, um, I completely shy away from wearing it because of that bad experience I had trying to figure out how to wear it. So since I'm not going to wear it, I I'm just going to pass it along. It's very sticky. Like, I honestly don't know how so many people got along with this formula so well. It's just really, really opaque and sticky and I found hard to work with. But anyway, <laughs> passing that along. Now, let me see. I'm just doing a little bit of swatching here. Sorry, I realized I wasn't talking. <laughs> I think I can give someone this one from NYX. This is actually really, really cool, but I just tend to not reach for it. This is the shade Beauty Blood Buzz in the Foil Play Cream Eyeshadows. I don't even know if these are still available, but this is what it looks like. That one right there, isn't that absolutely stunning? I find I tend to shy away from it just because my eyelids are getting older and I feel like it can make them look more textured. Like it is kind of a textured shadow. I don't know if you can really tell that from the swatch. Um, it's very, very pretty, however, but I think just because you know I tend to not reach for it, I should probably give that to someone. This one from JCat is kind of the same thing. That's what I have swatched next to it. This is the Prismetal eyeshadow, but I can't give this to someone because my dog got a hold of it and like ruined the packaging. So anyway, I'm keeping this one. Now I have concerns about some of these Revlon color stays being all dried out. So let me check Caramel. You can see, it definitely is starting to dry out, but I, oh no. Okay, I was able to get a swatch. Oh, such a shame. I really like that shade. I might have to repurchase that one. Oh, but it is really really dry shoot that one's going chocolate oh no that one looks all dried up too and it is i was having a hard time getting that swatch oh it makes me so sad these are so good and this is the problem when i have obviously too much cream eyeshadow i don't reach for them and they dried out let's check the shade praline wow that one is even more dry i can barely swatch it oh my gosh these are going Let's check my Maybelline ones. This is the shade Socialite. Oh, this one looks more creamy. Oh yeah, I can feel that that one's fine. Yep, very good. I'll save that one. And I do put the lids on super tight. In fact, I have a problem usually with putting things on so tight that I break the packaging. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's not why they dried out, definitely. I had, I definitely had the lids on tight enough. 
And then I have the shade High Roller, which look at that. Look at that goodness. Oh, which I'm delighted to say that one is still nice and creamy. So yay, that is good. I have some eyeshadow sticks back here. This one from NYX. This one from Beauty Pie. Oh, this broke. It fell on the floor and it completely busted. This is the shade Brazilian Air. Can I even get it to roll up? Oh good, I can. Super pretty. I'm going to keep it despite the broken packaging and historically I don't reach for broken packaging, <laughs> but for now I'm going to keep it. And I think that is it for this drawer. Moving on to the next drawer. There, I took the drawer out so we could see better. I don't think there's anything in here that I'm wanting to get rid of. Oh, I take that back. So this is from MAC. This is the uh, paint pot in the shade Vintage Selection. This is actually gorgeous and I have really resisted giving this away. Oh my gosh, that is so creamy, so beautiful. And this look, the swatch is so um, but I just really, I never ever use it. I find that when I put it on my eyelids, it must be the tone of this in like opposition to the tone of my skin. It just really doesn't look that good on me. <laughs> so sad because I think this is so pretty. Um, but I am going to give this to someone who likes one and done, that really pretty kind of soft, shimmery taupe color. And I, I know that they will love it. Oh, that makes my heart sad because I really wanted to love this, but I'm going to give that to someone. Okay, I have a whole bunch of phytosurgeons. This one from Pat McGrath, keep that for now, Sephora, Pure Weiss, okay, I think that for now, that is fine. This is where I keep my cream and liquid shadows. I see something right away that I really should give to someone because I am never reaching for it. That is this liquid shadow from Alme. it's so pretty so so pretty this is the shade end game it's been so long since i've used it let's even check and see if it's all right look at that rich chocolate oh my gosh that is gorgeous i even had a friend in, in mind that i'm going to give this to who can get away with the most beautiful rich deep looks yeah she will love that at least i hope she will <laughs> i'm going to give this to her um otherwise I'm thinking that I'm good in this drawer. Okay, I just went through and counted all the items that I'm decluttering from my collection. 28. That's really, really good for me, you guys. I don't normally do this sort of thing. Oh, actually, you know what? Sorry. 29. <laughs> I tend to declutter very slowly. I decide I don't want something. I immediately give it away. I don't tend to do something like this where I go through every category and pull things out. So this makes me feel so good. A lot of the stuff I can give to friends. A lot of it is stuff that I still like. Like I can really recommend it to people that it's stuff that is good. Of course, there's some stuff that is just gonna have to go in the trash, which is unfortunate, but I am happy that so much of this will be getting used at other people's houses and not just sitting around here in my stash. So <laughs> I know this is a long one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you and I will see you again in the next one.